we scored a salt treated two by fours. These will still be salvageable. Nice. Nice, nice. If you're new to the project, a big warm welcome. If you're a tough old root, then welcome back. Today, we're demolishing most of the floor in this weird little shed here so we can hopefully get to a septic pipe that's broken. Already making good on this deal. I bet Celia will love that. saves a bunch of cardboard tubes but they don't look too good probably can't salvage that deal at least one good two by four a little on the short side but we'll find something to do with it so back here where the uh, shed meets the house we're having some some water issues so this part's completely rotten uh no point in trying to salvage it so i just got my splitting maul here and i'm gonna feel around for the stud and hopefully go right along the edge of it Boy, that's easy. Well, I bet you won't bet they didn't use salt through the two by fours. scored us some salt treated two by fours. These will still be salvageable. Nice. Nice, nice. This is so, let me squat down, you can see me. This is so much easier than I thought it was going to be. And uh, like right here, you know, obviously this part is pretty sad, but we've cut a line straight right here. Have us a little three by three square uh, OSB board. Rock and roll. We can pull up all these floor joists. <sighs> and who knows, maybe even use them for our smithy. We're going to have to build one of them soon. Yeah. 
Reese's wrapper. Huh. I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with this. So yeah, that piece is good. Put him in our keep pile. The best I can tell, our issue lies from here over. So for the time being, I'm stacking all our keep stuff on this side. We'll get this part completely just tore out. And then we'll start digging and see if we can't find whew, this busted septic pipe. Lucky this dude used nails. If I'd have built this, you'd, you'd have never got it apart. Well, there's a lot of really good two by fours down here. Is even a good 4x4? Four four? Now that's interesting. Guess we'll start pulling them up next. Thank you. 
poked a hole in the wall to some degree, but it's all right. The walls are going too later. Really goes to show you how easy demolishing something is. Taking a thing apart is so much easier than trying to put it back together. Um, luckily, we don't have to try to put it back together. I will try to retain the roof, uh, but the walls and floor, gone. Yes, yes. It's a friggin' wire. There's a random piece of wire just tripping the hell out of me every five seconds. Clean him up. Uh, I'm also keeping an eye out for any wet spots. Not necessarily wet spots from the structure, but wet spots in the ground. Because there's supposed to be a septic break around here somewhere. And, uh, oh, cool. Lots of what appears to be cat poop. Oh, yes, we love that. Let's, let's mix that dust up and breathe it. Jesus. Can't win for losing. Now the 4x4. I don't understand why he put a 4x4 here unless he just had one. But, uh, I mean, that's the most valuable piece so, so far. Four by fours ain't cheap. There we go. Oh, yeah. Might even can use this for the truck build. Thinking I might make a a new bed for my truck out of four by fours and old fence posts. So this right here saved me a good bit of money today. And that's all we needed, you know, just five second deal. Or you can play patty cake with it with a regular saw for 10 minutes. I just choose, hey, grab a chainsaw. demolish done. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to take and do, which will be part of the next video, is I'm going to dig a trench right through here and try to locate that actual septic pipe, that septic line. It's possible I'll have to move this big oil barrel out of here uh, in order to either A, locate the line, or B, fix it. Um, but yeah, that was that was tearing the thing apart, and it was, uh, it was really easy. Um, only upside of building something wrong is that it's easy to get rid of. So uh, that was super smooth, super easy, nothing fancy to it, just part of our life here at the new Double Wide. If you like what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to the project, hit that other button. If you want to help support the project, there are links below. Until next time here, Steve in the Woods. Well, I can smell that kerosene.